people often ask, what is Zionism? Are Zionism and Judaism the same thing? Why should Zionism be important to American Jews or Jews living in Europe, Jews in Australia and South Africa? Can you be a Zionist if you're not living in the state of Israel? So let's begin with the question, what is Zionism? What is Zionism? I would say Zionism is the patriotism of the Jewish people to being Jewish. It's a conviction that we as Jews have a rich treasure to give to the world. Zionism is the devotion of Jews to the Jewish future. It's also a devotion to the Bible. Zionism is a devotion to the extraordinary culture of Jewish history. And above all, Zionism is an expression of our devotion to God. It is, in fact, God whose dream is to be fulfilled by us. Zionism isn't just about politics, about security, about refuge, about land. Zionism, more than anything else, is about concern. Concern for individual Jews and concern for the entire Jewish community. Is Zionism the same thing as Judaism? I would say no, it's not the same thing, but the two are deeply intertwined. Now, I'm a historian. I teach Jewish history classes at Dartmouth, so what do I tell my students? We read classic Zionist works, books and articles that I think everybody should read, going back to the 19th century and the early 20th century, real classics. So what do we read? We read that Zionism and Judaism are very intertwined because Zionism began as the awakening of Jews in Europe to the great mystery of our history as Jews, an awakening to the question of the fate of the Jewish people. Where are we going? What are we supposed to be doing here on this earth? What's the meaning of the existence of this amazing Jewish people? And you know, you think about it with all the history courses that we have at Dartmouth and in other universities, the history of China, history of India, history of Germany, each place, it's a place, it's a location. What do we have with Jewish history? First of all, we go back thousands of years. We go back to biblical times. For thousands of years, we are tracing a history of people who've lived all over the world, everywhere. There were Jews in China, in India, in Europe, of course. In the United States, we have Jews everywhere. And yet, despite the fact that we're so dispersed and over such a long time, speaking so many different languages and often with slightly different customs, Nonetheless, we feel as one people and one history. That's very unusual. I don't know of any other history that does that. It's remarkable. So what is Zionism? Zionism is an awakening to the mystery of this history, to the question of what it is to be an authentic Jew, as Martin Buber asked. What is it to be an authentic Jew, really? Not to be simply a Jew like our grandparents and great-grandparents. You know, my father used to call that spiritual plagiarism. You have to be authentic to yourself. Or your Judaism has to express who you are as a person. You have to know who you are. So when I teach my Jewish history courses at Dartmouth and we come to Zionism, I make it clear that Zionism began not as a political program, but as a profound movement of Jewish self-reflection. What is it to be a Jew? In Europe, Jews had come to realize that they couldn't define Jewishness in a narrow way. People would sometimes debate, is Judaism a religion? Is it a nationality? But you know, we don't fit either category by itself. We know that. Jews require new categories. Jewish history requires new ways of thinking, and that's why it's so interesting to take courses in Jewish studies at universities. Rather, I would say that religion, nationality, all of these different elements are just one of many that constitute who we are. So Zionism began, like most Jewish movements, with words, with ideas, what it is to be authentic, what's our connection to the past, where are we going, what kind of Jewish future do we want to create, what kind of legacy do we want to leave for the future? Do we know that we have a purpose in our lives? But what is that purpose? 
There were lots of different kinds of Zionists, as everyone knows. There were socialists, there were religious, there were anti-religious, there were Zionists who wanted to return to an ancient Canaanite way of being, there were labor Zionists. Now, not all of those Zionist perspectives have survived, but each one made an important contribution because Zionism is an ongoing debate that's enriched Jewish life very much. An ongoing debate. And what is actually more exciting than debate of ideas? Debate over Jewish history. And it's, in fact, debate that has enriched Jewish life since the times of the Bible. And in many ways, Zionism, of course, brings us back to the Bible, to the promises of redemption, to an extraordinary idea that Jews gave the world. The prophet said that one day there would be peace. No one else had such an idea that one day in the future there would be peace. That's a hope, and it's a gift, a Jewish gift to the world to have that hope. Now, at first, I don't think many Zionists thought they would ever accomplish the establishment of a Jewish state. Sometimes they talked about a, a homeland, a cultural center that would revive Jewish life throughout the world. But we all know that World War II changed everything. Had there been a Jewish state, had there been a place of refuge for European Jews, the murders wouldn't have happened. And at different times, it seems to me, different Zionisms may have greater relevance. At times, I think it's wonderful to think about kibbutz life, about a socialist Zionism where everything is shared and everyone is equal. At other times, I would say 1939, I would have been with Jabotinsky and said we have to arm ourselves, defend ourselves. So to be a Zionist, is to be a Jew who is fascinated by the extraordinary existence and persistence of a people who identify with such a long history, such a diverse history, and yet be united. To be a Zionist is to wonder at the amazement, the gifts the Jews have brought to the world. To be a Zionist is to be moved by the spiritual beauty of Shabbat to be proud of the moral principles of the prophets, move principles, of course, that have inspired not only us as Jews, but so many movements for freedom all over the world that have come from the Exodus, from Amos, from Isaiah. Most of all, to be a Zionist is to ask, what is our task as Jews? What do we stand for? Where are we going? with our Jewish treasures, with our talents. So to be a Zionist is to be engaged with some of the most profound and complicated problems that human beings can face. To be a Zionist is to debate and to care deeply and to work for a better future for Jews and for all people and to keep alive the promises, the hopes, the moral values, to preserve them. The state of Israel is as complex and diverse as Zionism. So to go, for example, from a few weeks in the very wonderful, pious atmosphere of Jerusalem, which is truly unique in the world, extraordinary, and to go from Jerusalem down to Tel Aviv, to the beaches <laughs> and the cafes of Tel Aviv, feels sometimes like entering a different country. Israel is so diverse. There's such an incredible range of expression of Jewish experience and, of course, of Christians, of Muslims, of Palestinians, of Africans, of Asians. Israel is an orchestra of humanity. Mm -hmm.